Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Road Waves 3 with me, Alpha Omega, and you guys are looking Marina. So it is fourth month of the war against uh, the Russian Empire and after a sort of a, well, uh, I guess a battle that was a draw, fairly even damage to both sides, we've had two really good battles uh, happening in the Baltic Sea. In both, we have decimated the opposing fleet and thus severely reducing the size of the Russian Navy by actually one-eighth of their fleet. Uh, we sank a number of destroyers, uh, we sank some battle cruisers, some light cruisers, so let's hope that today we are going to continue with this trend. Honestly, uh, not much that we can do here right now at this point because uh, we've already halted the construction of the Aquila class ships, uh, which... Um, are supposed to come in a year or so. Uh, we are still finishing though the Aquila itself, the first of its class, because we have you know just a minor deficit of 331 rice mark. But that is also contingent on the fact that we have repaired more of most of the ships. We're still repairing Minkin, Frankfurt, and Maximilian. So hopefully, once they are repaired, we'll be able to restart the um, you know the construction of the new ships. But again, it depends on what kind of battle we're gonna get right now. I mean, the victory points are, you know, fairly one-sided, so let's hope that we can increase this. Um, I'm not planning to end the war uh, other than in the complete collapse of the Russian uh, Empire, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, politicians can always cross up, so it would be best to have the war score as high as possible for any contingency to, you know, at least be able to get one of the two colonies that we are after. So let's end the turn and see what's going to happen. So it is a battleship engagement. Okay. So that's no small battle. That is no small battle. So let's see what... Oh wow, that's actually a pretty big one. Expected enemy force, one battleship, five battle cruisers. Damn, we don't really have... Three carriers, nine light cruisers, 25 destroyers. Well, we have way more heavy cruisers than they do. I mean, it's not that far up north. Partly cloudy. Admiral Roger fails command check. No force change possible. Okay, as usual, we're going to accept it. I don't really mind that. But I have to do one thing. And that is, uh, actually, attack the enemy ships in this one, because we are very close to our own territory. We have two battle forces, and I noticed in the first battle that we were able to control both, but I don't really want to do that. I'm going to let the AI control our carrier fleet. Now, okay, interesting. Once you select it and confirm, you lose the control to the end of the battle, which is fine. You know, I, I really don't feel like toying with two fleets because what's going to happen is I'm going to overlook something. So I'd rather focus on one battle group and let the AI handle the second one. Some of you might not agree with that. Oh my god, I love this formation. Some of you might not agree with that, but I still think it's a pretty good idea. And oh my god, we have a ton of you in the front. Are you acting as patrols? No, your screens. Okay, well, we'll see what's gonna hit us here. We can always retreat. I'm a little bit nervous about the fact that we have just two battleships because the rest is being uh, repaired. And we don't have Freya, Valkyra, or Brynhild here, just Leipzig and Berlin, which are, you know, fair point, our primary battleships, and they are very fast and able, but there are just two of them. So, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so we sighted an unknown enemy ship over there. Now, let me just confirm that you guys are going on your own. Information. I'm gonna let you be independent for now. I don't really think you're too far away for any meaningful thing. So let's go to max speed. Why the hell are you over here, Frederick? You know you don't have any torpedo defense, so if you get. 
Well, we'll do what we can. So let's go here. Okay, so these are most likely all destroyers, which is fair. Okay, Amethyst class, all right, Crimson, and we're shooting. It's actually Friedrich that's shooting the Amethyst. I'm planning to change my strategy here a little bit for these big engagements before I try to do as much damage as possible. And I'm going to focus on smaller targets and try to corner them. Okay, this could be a battleship group. Uh, Baltic Carrier Division has been spotted by enemy aircraft. High Seas Fleet has been spotted by enemy aircraft, okay. Neither. Are you coming to assist us or...? No, you're not. You're actually leaving. Okay. Well, thanks for that. And yeah, these are going to be battle cruisers, maybe. Heavy cruiser, battle cruiser. I mean, we can eat their battle cruisers for breakfast, so I'm still okay, but I'm pretty sure these are all battle cruisers. And that means that this is gonna be ultimately not in our favor when it comes to the total amount. Okay, Gremlin. Yeah, so you can see they got 12 inch guns, but they got 9 of them. And they have a weaker belt, if I'm not mistaken. We have 12 inch belt and 14 inch guns. Yes. So if we keep our distance, we are going to do more damage to them than they will do to us because at this distance. What was that thing here? The engine breakdown due to extended high speed steam. What? Where's K24? You're the one of the newest ships in our... Where's K22? No, okay, at least it's nowhere near the enemy. Okay. Where we got an engine room hit? Awesome. Which lowered its speed. Great. So we're starting very well. So let's keep it civil like this. Okay, so this is really a cruiser. So it's two battle cruisers against two battle cruisers, and I would bet good money. On my ships here, even carrier force Baltic cruiser division. This is a new fleet. What? Wilhelm and Dmitry Kaiser. Did you guys? What are you doing? Um, well, I could actually put you independent or, well, no, but if you're independent, I'm still going to have you be AI controlled because I really don't want to, but if you can help us, that would actually be pretty good. I really do hope that they will help. Cause Hmm. What do we know? Okay, we're gonna hit on the enemy ship. Carrier Force Baltic Cruiser Division is set as a new. Okay, so they keep rejecting. Keep rejecting 
to be independent. Okay, so you guys go here and I'll focus on you and I just need to remember that you are there. Because that's two more battle cruisers that we can use. Okay, they're at the edge of... I actually haven't checked the time. Oh! Oh, oh, oh we're actually gonna lose the daylight soon. I had no idea. I forgot to check the time. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. We might have an engagement early in the morning because we have a lot of this, but... Okay, torpedoes away. I wonder if they're gonna hit someone. Probably not. Oh, they have a battleship here, pre-dreadnought one. Or, no, that's actually a dreadnought itself. Okay, so that's the one that's out of each class. So, art turn. Okay, more torpedoes going. I can get hit by a torpedo, unfortunately. So, you're detaching. Maximilian Aachen. Yep, you detach and go home. I'm gonna risk losing you. Can I actually forget to up your speed? So you go here. We're gonna meet up. And I'm gonna turn around like this. Keep shooting. Oh, could it be? Oh, oh my god! It's gonna happen! We are gonna hit it with a torpedo! Yes! I actually hope that it was a torpedo hit. It didn't register. Ah, it was probably a dud. Okay, let's continue. Find the damage. Yeah, and it's it's done. Okay, so what would be the reasonable thing to do now? Uh, I think the reasonable thing to do is meet up over here. And we are... Actually, what's going on here with you guys? So here's Aachen. How's the flooding? It's actually really good. Considering you got hit by a torpedo, you are doing great. And I don't know why you are going where you're going, but I'll take it. So... You guys are going to go over here. And we'll meet up with the... Baltic Cruiser Division. And we'll move together northwards. How much time do we have? 10 hours and 10 minutes. Apology for the skip. So... I guess the smart thing would be to head north. See if we can capture them when the light comes back, because with the amount of destroyers on both sides at this point, this is this would be too brutal to actually even consider as a valid strategy when it comes to slow down. You guys can go here, go to 20 knots as well. Break down. Extended high speed. Well, we've scored. Yeah, we scored quite a lot of hits. So it's not like 
there is going to be a major issue. So you guys go here. Can we now be... Mm, no. So we'll still have to keep you guys as two independent squadrons. So turn around and say oh 20 knots and 20 knots. Okay, let us just sail here. And you guys sail here. So let's see if something happens. Sure, we're getting a little bit too far from each other. Okay, so we got we're about halfway through. So you continue sailing to here. You continue sailing to here. So here's our fleet, just sailing in offensive formation. Now I can make it home. Okay, which ships did we send home actually? Why the hell are you guys? Oh, this is the, okay, so that's the... And that's the carrier fleet. Here are some destroyers. Oh, hey, here's Wurzburg. Our seapoint carrier. Okay. I haven't seen you in a battle yet. So it's nice to see you here. But where is Aachen? Uh, is it here somewhere? Nope. What's this? That's a G2 destroyer. Ludwig. So I guess Aachen either already made it to port or it's gone. <laughs> so it's, hopefully, hopefully the hopefully it made it to port. Stokers are exhausted, but we're going at 20 knots. What the hell are you talking about? Did you guys suffer some critical hits? Can speed 15 out of 25. What's going on? Well, either way, you just keep on going. Very fast. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it far enough in time. We can go faster than 20 knots. Because that would mean that our ships here, Wilhelm. Yeah, these guys cannot actually go faster than 20 because they wouldn't be able to hold it for long enough. Uh, so let's just continue we'll see. Day is gonna come soon, won't it? In two hours, something like that. Yeah, exactly in two hours. So they're somewhere here. We'll find them soon. We should see. Yep, no light is coming. So this is a far and narrow straight. So what I could do here is I could just order you to go over here and order you guys to go over here because if we're to intercept them, and this is where we're gonna meet them. And we won't, they're not here. Yeah, they probably want to dock in the bow. 
But the fact that the game is not ending means that they are near. Was that that scout? I saw something. Okay, let's go to. Oh wow, what's up with you guys? Uh, okay, we're getting bombed here. I think carrier. Okay, so this is probably what we have. Yeah, we took some damage, but nothing too major. Nobody should be sinking. Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna... Well, let's see if we can get to Hango and if we can find someone. Okay, so we now know that there's nobody here, really. Okay, mechanical problems. Yeah, there's nobody here. So can we end it or is it... Yeah, there's airstrikes in the air. So they probably went to the bow. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that they would be over here, but no luck. We didn't encounter them again. Wait, what? Yes. Wait, what happened? Do you want to force the end of the battles means that all friendly ships at sea are this proximity of the enemy? Okay, well, this wasn't very successful. Our battle cruisers got damaged. Uh, well, okay. Well, we got 290 victory points. They got 853. Uh, blue average made some poor decisions during the reason. Uh, blue average. Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of him. We have commissioned two submarines. Aquila is commissioned into the navy, and we got submarines, improved electric engines. The rebels in Libya have gained the upper hand, and the Italian government has agreed to grant them independence. Okay. And our submarine U-213 has torpedoed and sunk the Russian corvette Kamchatka. Okay. And they... Okay, we gain 160 victory points for blockading the enemy. Uh, they sank two of our merchant ships. Contra-Admiral... Silax is placed in command. Mm -mm -mm. Russian shipyard has sunk our submarine. Yeah, they're killing us everywhere. Submarines are actually kind of weak in this game. I hate to say that, but it is true. Okay, a lot of destroyers need repairs. Berlin will be off service for two months. Same with Aachen, they caught the torpedo, but nothing really major. K1 and the G1, and we have a fairly decent, uh, fairly decent positive, uh, positive uh, income. So I think we can restart the construction of Falke. 
And I'm gonna end this episode by actually adding the Aquila. Where? High Seas Fleet first, Oid Cruiser support. Aachen Castle, yes, this is where we're gonna put it. So Aquila is gonna be the flagship of the first light cruiser support. And they got 8,000 tons, so they're, the ship is much bigger than they are. It's faster as well. It has the smaller caliber weapon, but you can see that it has twice of the primaries than the enemy, uh, than the other <laughs> enemy, than the other ships have. It has a fairly weak secondary armament, but it has 80 mines. For some reason, Kazuma has no mines. That's interesting. But you're thinking about rebuilding it eventually, so it's not a bad thing. So, okay, you win some, you lose some. We didn't actually manage to outperform Russia in this one, but that was because of the night. I believe that if we had daylight for a little bit longer, we could have sunk some ships. But again, you win some, you lose some. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, you guys take care.